Let's go on to the second one. The second type tool is the area tool. And with this, I can create a shape, any kind of a shape with the pen tool or one of these shape tools. Okay. And to start out, you'll see that there's some color obviously here. And with this shape tool, um, this is in pretty important. You would think that you would, your tendency would be to just click someplace inside the shape. But in fact, you need to click on the edge of the shape, on the edge of the shape with the area tool. Not in the shape, but on the edge of it. And you see the blinker is here. Notice that the color automatically disappeared from the shape. We'll be able to go back and put color in the shape afterward. But when it's going to be used for text, it automatically goes blank. And then we can type, um, you know, our words. All right. Okay. And then uh, we can, um, as you've already learned, manipulate uh, this shape. And by doing that, we can change how the text behaves inside the shape. Okay, you see? So um, it stays inside the shape. Now, um, there are two different aspects to shape in, uh, to type in a shape. That is the text itself. Notice when I click on the text that the text is underlined. Well, that's going to let me change the text. Um, that's going to let me. Um, change the color of the text, okay? So anytime we select that and the type is underlined, then it's going to mean that the type itself is selected. If I want to put a stroke or I want to put color in the shape, we have to select the shape without selecting or activating the text. And the way to do that is you can see where the edge of the shape is. What we have to do is select the shape without selecting the type, as I just did. Look again. If I click anywhere near the text, the text is underlined, so it is selected. If I click and drag just on the edge of where I think the shape is, notice in this case the text is not underlined, and since it has curves, the handlebars have popped up which means that the shape is now selected. So here I can now add color to the shape. And if I wanted to, I could add a stroke as well to the shape. Okay. So you have to select uh, the text or you have to select just the shape to uh, manipulate one or the other. Okay. All right. And then the third um, variation, let me just push this over here, is type on a path. So here I'm going to in fact create um, a path and then we'll uh, put, I'm going to use my pen tool. In this case um, I click and drag. Notice a short little pull of the handlebars. I'm going to come up here, create another anchor point, a second one, and then I come down here, and in my case, do a third. So I just have a very gentle um, path. You see there? Okay, let's do it again. Click and drag. Click and drag. Notice I'm keeping it simple. I only have three anchor points. I'm not getting too fancy here. Okay? And then switch the type tool, of course. Go to the type on a path. Bring it right down. You see it has kind of a little angled base on it. Bring it right to the path. Click it. And again, we can type. Okay. And um, we can highlight it. And uh, once again, we can change the um, the type style. We can change the color of the text. We can um, 
stroke the text. Okay, there we have uh, a color. And, uh, you know, we can stroke it if uh, you so desire. There you see it, okay? So um, we can do all of the normal things um, by highlighting the text. Got to put the tool right next to it, okay? Then um, when we um, switch tools and we go to one of the arrow tools, I'm going to go to the white arrow. Now notice I clicked on the white arrow and we immediately got some different things going on. You have to recognize these. Look at this little bar with this little box in it. Um, for the moment, ignore the little box, but the little bar, there's one here, there's one close to the middle, and there's one down here on the right. Uh, the one on the right, you normally pull in right to the end of the text. And if you're in a situation, this sometimes occurs, where the path isn't long enough or the text is too big and suddenly some of it disappears, you'll see this little red square with the plus indicating that some text is there but hidden. So I'm going to pull out. Again, pull on the little bar, not on the little red square. And um, we can move the text along the path by clicking on this little bar. Again, not in the square, but the little bar with our selection tool. Click and notice, look, I can move the text along the path. And uh, we have that situation again where some of it disappeared. And I pull it back. So you can move it along the path by clicking these little almost like handlebars of their own, or these little, uh, what are often referred to as the I-beam, the little vertical line here, okay? Then, um, as we did with the, the text in a shape, manipulating the shape is different than manipulating the text. So, to activate the shape, we have to click, first off, deselect it, and then what we have to do is click somewhere right where we know the line is, right along the baseline of the letters. Okay? If we click on the letters, we're going to get those little I-beam things to move it along the path. If we click on the baseline of the text, like right here, notice something different happens. Number one, we do not have those little beams, those little I-beams. But since this is um, an, a curve, we in fact have the anchor points and the handlebars. And so I can manipulate the path itself in any way that I see fit. And in fact, that lets me change the path that the type is on. You see? Okay. So once again, click on the text you're going to get these little I-beam things that let you move, in particular, the text along the path. Okay. If you click on the baseline of the text itself, you'll get the path. And those are the three basic uh, type tools. Um, and I think that pretty much covers, uh, covers the basics. Okay.